So can the Gen 2 head with a smaller valve, smaller bore size, smaller port, can it beat the Voodoo? That is the question we're gonna to answer today. So keep watching, because the numbers don't lie. I think that the Gen 2 and the Voodoo in the Coyote world are really like the, the holy grail. Everybody wants one or the other. They think that they can put a Gen 2 because there's that Gen 3 short block, Gen 2 cylinder head, Gen 1 timing components, or they go to the Voodoo. They go to that CNC'd head because they think, because it's CNC'd from the factory, that that is the jam. Well, I think that also the Gen 2 is, uh, everybody thinks that it's an ASCAS ported boss head which we already debunked that deal. You guys can watch it. I'll put a link on the bottom here, but it's not like the boss head and it didn't flow like the boss head. I mean, it was close, but it just wasn't there. Uh, it's not the same port. And I don't know really if the Voodoo is the baddest dude out there. I want this thing to surprise me. Taking a look at the intake port of the Voodoo. I honestly think that this is one of those things if it had a face, it's only a face a mother could love. And I just, I just, you know, I'm trying to love it because it is a good cylinder head. Combustion chambers, you'll see that there's a lot of hot spots in here, like over here. Now we covered a lot of this in another video because, well, we just digitized this head and we got rid of a lot of the, the problems that go on with the cylinder head, like in the combustion chamber and the port. And I said the big ugly step over, but you um, has steel guides. Take a look at the exhaust port. Look at that step over, man. Just like one inch between each cut. That's what it looks like. This thing is just not, it's not very appealing. I, I, I get why people would want it. And that's because it does flow pretty good and it's available and it comes CNC'd from the factory. But do you really, is it Reem Supreme? That is the question. And now I enter the head games Gen 2 port, looking delicious, ready to take on a voodoo, giving it a boo-boo. That's right. Fins on the floor, fins on the roof, no ugly guy bosses. I think this thing's gonna hang with it. I mean, the Gen 1 hung with it, intake port, looking delish. Let's take a look at the exhaust. I think everybody can say that we're just going off of looks. Just off looks. We're not going off of personality. The Voodoo might have a personality, but the, the Gen 2 head games, Gen 2 port, is that 10. It's that 10 you're looking for. Exhaust showing more of the same. The beautifulness, the fins. Oh my gosh. I think this thing is going to really, I think it's going to hang with the Voodoo. I don't think it's going to beat it. I just don't think so. I think that the port is going to be bigger. So we're going to look at the area to the curve, but so far, so good. Bronze guides, chamber looking delish, everything looking good. I just wanted to give a visual of the bore size that I've been using for all of these flow tests. This is a 3,800 bore size. So the outside diameter is 3,800. Obviously this is just stuck on here, but you can see that there is barely any room on the side of the valves, so like on the corners there, barely any room. And just because it's a circumference, right? But I needed a constant. And for conversation's sake, this is how the bore, the 300 bore, looks on a voodoo you can see it just barely touches the corners of all the valves and there's a little uh circumference on each side that's because well we're talking about radially so there is a difference between 300 and what three six i don't even know what those guys bore them out to be but as you can see it's not really that much different and that's why we use the 3800 because we can keep them pretty consistent through all of them all right, so I showed that because there is some people asking what size bore are we using for all this. Some people kind of freaked out when they heard, oh my gosh, you're doing it with a 3800. Well, 3800, as you can see, 
is really not that bad. It still kind of shrouds the intake valve. And that's on the Gen 2. We're not gonna have 30 something different bore sizes for our flow bench, especially because we work on 30 different cylinder heads. So there has to be constants. This is new to me to share information with the general public on a flow bench. Usually I keep that all to here and I keep a constant and we only flow stuff our way on our bench and that way we compare numbers to other numbers to other cylinder heads and float only one way so if you guys were to take numbers that are flowed on a different flow bench or if they're flowed on a different bore size yes you will get different numbers and that's why we should not look at this as hey games give me the numbers and this is exactly what it flows no no we're just putting them all against each other and we're putting them in one way and that one way I'm not saying it's the right way i'm saying it's our way that's how you work smarter not harder well right now we got the gen 2 on the flow bench we're going to put the, the voodoo on the flow bench we're going to see which one reigns supreme let's get the flowing Ladies, I'm here to give you the results. Now you're probably thinking that boot dude just messed up that Gen 2 head. Well, yes and no. So let's go over the results and I'm gonna give you my take. Uh, we're gonna put the numbers up here. I'm gonna read them off the piece of paper because I can't remember all this stuff. Now, let's do the exhaust first. The exhaust, uh, I want you to keep in mind that on the exhaust that the Voodoo has a 40 degree seat angle so the 40 degree is where the valve meets and where the valve meets the seat and it seals to it and it's 40 degrees and that 40 degrees is going to make lower lift flow better and it shows so we put a 45 on it uh on on the gen 2 and the voodoo has the gen 2 by 18 cfm at 100 lift then the gen 2 comes back around with 7 cfm better than the voodoo and then at 200 lift, the Voodoo beats the Gen 2 by 10 CFM. By 250 lift, the Gen 2 has it by 5 CFM. And then throughout the rest of the range, the Voodoo walks the Gen 2 by 1 and the highest number, 9 CFM by 500 lift and 12 CFM at 600 lift. Cannot say that this thing, this Gen 2, pretty much hangs with a Voodoo. And if you think about it, I, I really think it would work better if you have a Gen 2 block or you have a smaller bore, like a Gen 3 blower, or maybe you do Gen 3 head, but I'm just saying a lot of guys do that 3 two, one deal and you uh, a lot of the people will go to the Voodoo. They think they need the Voodoo at that level and you don't. So the heads flow pretty much the same, even with a bigger valve. Bigger valve, different, has a different valve angle and they flow pretty similar. All right, so let's go over the intake. On the intake side, Gen 2 has the Voodoo by three CFM at 100 lift. And then the Voodoo just kind of stays ahead of the Gen 2, but not by a large margin. We're talking two, the highest is five CFM at 450 lift, between four and 450 lift. And then at 500 lift to 600 lift, we're talking 10 CFM better voodoo but that's a very small margin so what i've shown here today is that you can take a gen 2 head we can see and see it and if you don't want to get into that voodoo head you don't have to you can do the gen 1 you could do the gen 2 and they'll both hang with it but will the gen 3 hang with this that is going to be the next answer so and then we're going to put them all together i'm, trying, I'm going to give you guys a whole breakdown of this whole thing so be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. 
Toodles. Head games! <laughs>